Well, good afternoon, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Tuesday, October 12th, and it is the 28th Tuesday of Ordinary Time, as well as the feast day of St. Wilfred. And he is the patron saint, well, he was an English bishop of the late 600s, and he is the patron saint of two different archdioceses in England. Today's Gospel is from Luke chapter 11, verses 37 through 41. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. After he had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his, t at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. All right, so we're focused on the interior and not so much the exterior. So it says, as to, the reflection today says, as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. A Pharisee invited Jesus to his home for dinner, but was scandalized when Jesus failed to observe, observe the prescribed hand-washing ritual. Jesus responded with some harsh words, something you wouldn't ordinarily, ordinarily expect from an invited house guest. But it didn't matter to Jesus. He was trying to drive home a point. He wanted his disciples and all those listening to understand what true piety consists of. It's more than outward actions. It has to do with the state of our hearts as well. The state of our hearts as well. And in order to purify our hearts, Jesus said we should give alms. But how does giving alms make us clean? Let's consider the Pharisees' situation. If they had taken Jesus' words to heart, it would have alerted their focus, or altered their focus. I mean, I'm tired today. Instead of criticizing Jesus for not following the letter of the law, they would have focused on the needs of the people around them. Their vision would have expanded beyond rules and regulations to the heart of the law. While still observing Jewish law, they could have made themselves even more clean by pouring, them out, pouring themselves out for the poor and needy. The same is true for us. When we give alms, whether it's our time, our energy, or our money, we can approach it as a way of handing over to God something that is precious to us. If we come to Jesus with a generous willingness to give over to him what is ours, we might be surprised at what happens within us. Perhaps we will experience a new freedom to see our world and the people around us with the eyes of Christ. This new vision will move us to be more generous toward the people we encounter at work, in our neighborhoods, and, in, and even within our families. And this new freedom will prompt us to follow Jesus more closely so that we can better do what he is asking of us. Today, let's ask the Lord to grant us the willingness to give alms cheerfully and eagerly so that we might step into this new freedom with him. Jesus, help me to focus on the people who need my help. Cleanse my heart so that I can experience a new freedom in you. We all need to work on our interior selves, that's for sure. And that's the challenge. Have a great day. God bless. And keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.